The rivers have always attracted me. The fascination is perhaps in that they constantly flow and remain unchanged. In that going on remaining, they are a sort of physical representation of history, which is, as it passes, rivers are history. These words aren't mine. They are Tiziano Terzani's, the great traveling philosopher, whose books are a reference point for thousands of travelers, including me. It is in this attraction for the great waterways and their eternal flowing towards the sea that is leading me today to the discovery of the Museum of the Great Rivers and the city where it is located, Rovigo. Set in the heart of the plain Padana, Rovigo is the smallest and maybe the least conspicuous among the Venetian provinces. To me, it's a casket laden with beauty, authenticity, art, history and culture, just waiting to be rediscovered. It's Old Town Centre, a meeting place to discover on foot. It's towers, memories of the ancient medieval walls, today the very symbol of the city. It's churches, it's monuments, it's buildings. One of the city's most evocative historical estates, the former monastery of the Olivetans, houses the Museum of the Great Rivers, an archaeological museum that goes through three and a half thousand years of history of the Pelissone region, a land that has always been moulded by the rivers Po and Adige. This modern, engaging and interactive exhibition shows the life, the spaces, the furnishings, the habits and the imagination and the loving bonds of the men and women that inhabited this territory since the Bronze Age and the Iron Ages, through the Roman Empire and the Middle Ages, up to the Renaissance period. The museum offers original finds, panels, description boards, infographics, maps, models, demonstrations of experimental archaeology, real-life settings, sceneries, dioramas, multimedia supports and life-size models. The visitor is no longer just a passive spectator, but becomes a player in the history of Polizene triggering off a dynamic relation between the container, the evocative architectural spaces of the monastery, and the content, the original collections on display. This museum is captivating for an adult audience that has offered a plurality of perspectives, from an archaeological to a historical artistic route, or to an itinerary focused on monuments. At the same time, the museum is a location ideal for children, who can learn while having fun, attending educational workshops, child-orientated events, and even summer or winter camps, accessible for disabled people as well. The museum heritage includes different collections that recreate social and cultural contexts as a whole, as well as iconic finds having a strong narrative impact, such as the amber fragments found in Campestrian, the little horse figure of Fratesina, a unique terracotta specimen of the Late Bronze Age, the Lady of Keusano's burial kit, including rich jewels made of precious gems and metals and pieces of glass, the decorated Majolica plate by Francesco Zanto Avelli, ceramicist from Rovigo, one of the most outstanding of the 16th century, who painted this work dedicated to the tragic love of Hero and Leander. In short, the Museum of the Great Rivers has an ever-evolving soul. It's a place of signs and, above all, a place of memories, where individual stories meet with history.